So let's quickly talk for like 5 minutes on EIBs. We will talk about EIBs, outbound EIBs, with transformation. We will look at inbound EIBs and how to load the data using EIBs and we will have a quick quiz at the end. So Enterprise Interface Builder What is an Enterprise Interface Builder or an EIB? The Enterprise Interface Builder allows the users to perform simple and secure integrations with Workday. Now, what is an integration? Does anyone remember what did we talk about when we said integration? What is an integration? Importing the data. Importing data. Is it always? In more generic terms, what can we say about an integration? Collection of data and we process. Not a collection of data. It is like exchange of information, exchange of data, to be more precise. Exchange of data between whom or what? Exchange of data between whom or what? Between applications. Between applications, correct. Between applications. In this case, what will be one of the applications? Workday. Yes. Are we concerned about information exchange between SA, P, and Oracle? Not too much. We are not concerned about that. We are concerned about information exchange between Workday and any other external system. That is what we are concerned about. We are Workday consultants. We are mostly related with Workday. We are going to create simple and secure integrations between Workday and external applications. So EIBs will give us that option. The simplest secure integrations between Workday and external systems. EIBs do not use any third-party software or hardware. It is right there, inbuilt in the Workday. G? UI. It is right there in Workday itself. We do not need any other special software application to build integrations using an EIB. This is used to allow customers to build their own integrations according to their unique business scenarios. But it is a very simple, straightforward. It has its limitations. It has its limitations, but it is a very simple, straightforward way to create integrations. The Enterprise Interface Builder tool provides an easy-to-use graphical and guided interface to define outbound and inbound integrations with little or no programming. We will not do any programming with EIB. Very simple, easy to use. Both IT users and business experts can leverage EIB to address simple integration needs. Again, when we say outbound versus inbound, what is outbound? Outbound from what? Outbound means what? Outbound information going out of workday. Exactly. Information going out of Workday to an external system. Right. Information going out of Workday. So, in the same line, what is inbound? Information into Workday. 
information coming into Workday from an external system. Right. Great. And then when we started our discussion on integrations, like we started with calculated fields and reports. So when we started that, I think I spent some time telling you about information exchange, the important steps of any information exchange. So what are the three steps of any information exchange? Remember the example I asked you like. Okay, you have to give me some information about countries, capitals of the world. Right. Or the states of the United States. Gathering the data. Gathering the data? Yes. And then. Transform. Transform or convert. That is the second. What is the third? Deliver. Deliver, or you have to send the data to the recipient. Right. Isn't that what we discussed? So any integration, any integration will have three steps. First we have to get the data from somewhere. Isn't it? Some of you said we will Google the data. Absolutely. So you can get the data from somewhere. Then the second step. The second step would be to modify the data, or translate the data, or transform the data into a format expected by the recipient. Isn't it? You have to convert it to a format expected by the recipient. That is transform data. The third step will be to send the data to the recipient or to deliver the data. Okay. When we create an integration using EIB, we will see these three steps there as well. Get data, transform data, deliver data. Okay. These are the three components in an EIB design pattern. So what we are going to do is we are going to configure these three steps. Get data. Where are we going to get the data from? That is something we have to configure. Do we need transformation? If yes, configure that. If no, leave it blank. And then deliver the data. How are we going to send the data to an external system? So we have to configure that as well. So once we do these three steps, our EIB is ready. We are going to start exchanging information from Workday with an external system.